What's going on y'all, what it is? So I wanna go ahead and slide on this topic real quick and briefly discuss this situation that's going down with Wendy. So if you guys are not aware, Wendy has checked back into rehab. Sources close to her say that she just cannot stop drinking, right? And so we know that Wendy uh, has been diagnosed with Graves disease and lymphedema and drinking is just not helping her overall health. Now, the Sherry Shepherd show did premiere September the 12th and maybe that led to Wendy doubling up on her shots of vodka because at the end of the day, even though her show has been canceled, it probably hit home once she saw, you know, Sherry on TV, the person that took her spot. Now, speaking of the Sherry Shepherd show, how many of you guys have seen it? Drop down in the comments and let me know how you feel about it because I've heard that it's an absolute snooze fest. But I do know that fans of Wendy are going to be completely biased in this situation because, you know, let's keep it real. Sherry is not Wendy, you know, and it's not her job to be Wendy. It's her job to be Sherry. But at the end of the day, I heard the show was a complete bore. Now, it's also being reported that Robin Roberts was supposed to be a guest on the Sherry Shepherd show this past week, but she snubbed Sherry and didn't show up at all. So Sherry and the producers of her show was scrambling to find a replacement and they ended up replacing Robin with Winnie Harlow as the guest. Now, if I'm being honest, that's a very interesting dynamic, but I don't want to think too deep into it because people have emergencies every day and that could probably be the case here. But you know, the first two weeks of your show basically or the first week and a half of your show airing and you have a big time uh, personality, a media personality like that counsel on you, uh, that's very disturbing in my estimation. But like I said, it could be nothing to it. Now, another situation that's being reported in regards to the Sherry Shepherd show is the fact that a lot of fans of the Wendy Williams show, they're calling for Norman and Suzanne, right? to interact with Sherry or Sherry to interact with them and bring them, you know, out on stage. But since the Sherry Shepherd show has started, no one has seen Norman and no one has seen Suzanne. And behind the scenes, Suzanne and Norman feel like their jobs are in jeopardy. And as a matter of fact, it says here, Wendy Williams loyal staffers feel they'll be pushed out of new ball Sherry Shepherd show. A source close to production exclusively told The Sun that there is a concern from some staffers who were brought on board to work on Sherry's talk show that their jobs are not secure. Staffers for Sherry have been in her ear saying that there should be some sort of loyalty test from the Wendy Williams show holdovers, one source claimed. Some faces particularly familiar to Wendy's audiences may have real reason to be concerned. Producers Suzanne Bass and Norman Baker frequently appeared on screen for Wendy, but they remain strictly behind the scenes for Sherry. And I'm just going to read the top part of this publication and it says, Norman and Suzanne want to believe they'll stick around, but sooner or later, I'm sure they are going to get pushed out. There's no real place for them now. The source added. So yeah, it seems like there's some issues growing behind the scenes of the Sherry Shepherd show, but let me say this. Just because Wendy utilized Norman and Suzanne in the fashion that she did does not mean that Sherry has to utilize them in the same manner, right? Because at the end of the day, it's called the Sherry Shepherd Show. And just because Wendy brought out Suzanne and Norman to interact with the fans and her audience, it does not mean that Sherry has the same vision for her show. And to be honest, the only reason why I feel that Sherry brought Norman and Suzanne on and a lot of other producers from the Wendy Williams show is because everything happened so fast and she didn't have time to really, you know, pick her talent out for her own show. And I feel that this is just a trial period for the people that came from the Wendy Williams show until she can find the people that suits her best, you know, that she wants to work with on a day to day basis. And honestly speaking, if I was in Sherry's position, I would want my own producers too. I wouldn't want Wendy Williams producers, right? Because at the end of the day, I want to build this thing organically and authentically to the best uh, that it can be. And so I understand Sherry, if she's feeling that way, I understand where she's coming from. Now, as far as Wendy checking back into rehab, I really hope that this is her last time because I believe that if it's not her last time, that she's running out of time before her body is just gonna give up on her, right? So, you know, she needs to do everything that she needs to do to get herself well. She doesn't need to be focusing on a podcast. I said that numerous of times. She needs to be focused on her health. But anyway, guys, I'm going to draw the line here. I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you feel about this whole entire situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.